Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya, Side Gig Craft. So excited you're here. Hit that like, subscribe button, you guys. I need your help. I need you. They Timu has changed how they're doing things. I need you to interact with this video. Like, subscribe, share, comment, interact with it, do all the things. <laughs> um, they have definitely changed up the way they do things, and we have to work a little harder and one of the things that they count is your interaction with these videos to uh, provide us with a little more credit so that we can keep continue doing these videos. Just fine by me. I have so much fun with these yards. So much fun trying out these new things and uh, for my craft room and for prizes and for just so much fun. Anyways, I got some good things today. Can't wait to share... It's most, it's crafty. I believe it's crafty. I don't think there's anything, I don't know if there's anything household in here. I can't remember. Let's open it up and get started and see what we've got. I have two orders, so I can't remember what's in this one versus the other one. I think this is mostly crafty stuff. But this thing I'm holding right now, this one's not, this one was fun. This one is a little turtle, look. And it's a little resin turtle. And I was thinking about putting this in my turtle tank. I thought he'd be really cute to put in there. And this is about how big, actually this is a little bit bigger than my, my turtle is. This is um, super cute. It's really well done. It's got lots of really great detail. It looks like it's wood, but it's not. It's resin. Super cute. I like that a lot. So he's going to go in my turtle tank with Bob. Bob is my turtle. Bob is a girl. Her name is actually Loretta Roberta, a.k.a. Bob. Why? I don't know. It just, Loretta was the first name that came up in my head when I saw her. And for some reason, Roberta fit. And I just, you know, I call her Bob because that's what she does. She bobs in the tank. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, these, Velcro. Okay, now I was hoping these might have been bigger, but I know that I'll be able to use these. Oh, these are going to last me forever. So this is Vel uh, Velcro sheet. So one is the hooks and one is the is the um, soft part. Let's look at this. I can't remember how many are in here, though. Like 250 or something crazy, but look at all this Velcro. What? Look at all these. That's going to last me forever. And I'm so glad for it. So check this out. That was a really good price. You guys know I don't like to pay a lot for these things. Crafting can be so expensive. I look for the cheapest, best way. You know, I want quality too. I don't want junk. But um, this was a really great deal. I have got this little die cut. This was called Elf, or it, it was labeled as an Elf. Yep, Elf 4. And we all know who that really is. This is my favorite movie. Look at her back, handbag, her carpet bag. Isn't she great? She's got the flower on there. This is going to be so cute. I cannot wait to play with this die cut. Favorite movie. Okay, these, okay, these are disappointing. Now, I got the, I think I got two packs of these two, which is a bummer. These are not the pretty colors like the picture. I thought they were going to be bright, and they are really not. And I thought that they'd be sturdy, too, and they're really, oh, no, I see. Okay, I have to take that part back. They snap, so this goes over into the hole, and then it snaps shut. So that's, that's adequate. That's what I was looking for. These are like rings for, um like a binder if you punch the holes and put these through or you could use them like we use the um i don't know you could use them for anything you might need to to put in a, a loop so that that works but i'm kind of disappointed in the colors most of them are transparent which pretty much have no color there's some pink transparent yellow transparent blue transparent I liked the solid colors, and they were much brighter in the picture, so that's a little bit disappointing, but they will be functional. I'll be able to use them, so that's good news. I'll figure something out to use those up. All right. 
these guys. I was curious about these. One, two, three, four, five. Five came in a pack. Really a good price once again. Except I can't remember it. I wanted to see how soft they were. The more I'm making cards and using dice, um, you know, or not dice, but inks, these are really soft. I think these will work nicely. Now, I have a different, a very well-known brand. And in comparison, they're both, they're equally soft, but I think, I feel like there's more bristles in this one. It feels like a bigger or thicker density. So I think it's going to work great. I think it's going to be good. A little bigger. I think there's going to be fantastic. So I'm looking forward to using those. I'm going to get the five different colors. We've got, what is this? I can't remember. I cannot remember what this is. Let's open it up and see. I like the fact that it's got a big old clip on it. It, it oh, this is the, um, okay, so this said something about like a forever pen or something like that, or everlasting pencil or something like that. So I was curious. Like, um, how does that work? So, what are we looking at, really? There's an eraser inside. I mean, what are you supposed to do with that? Um, how's this supposed to work? So it feels like just a big old chunk of lead, or... Is this? I don't understand. There is a piece in there. <gasps> or maybe there's something here. It looks like a. Sometimes these things need instructions, you know? This looks like a screwdriver kind of thing. I'm curious. I'm going to take this thing all apart. It's never going to go back together again. Watch. I'll be like, oh my gosh, I ruined the coolest toy. The coolest thing. There's something in there. I feel like it might be another. I don't know. Anybody have one of these? How does this work? I mean, this part screws in. Okay, this part screws in. This is just a big ch chunk of lead. I mean, eventually that's going to go away. What do they mean it lasts forever? I don't know. And how do you use the eraser? I mean, am I just supposed to use a... I mean, how does that work? Am I, am I missing something? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just supposed to take it out and use it like that. I don't know. I have no clue. But, you know what? That's cool. It's pencil. Now you don't have to buy one. But I'm curious if there's more lead in there. I'm going to have to take that apart. I wonder if I have, Oh, I have a screwdriver right... No, that's not a screwdriver. Don't I have a screwdriver right here? I do. Where did I put it? You guys, I got that little screwdriver. Remember? I got... Oh, that's ink. Where's that little screwdriver I got from my sewing machine from Timu? You know... The one I lost just now because I can't think of where I put it. I don't know. I might have to follow up with y'all on that one. Will this work better than my scissors? Oh, it might. Does it come apart? I'm like totally messing up the top. I'm not trying to. I just want to know. I don't think it's going to come off. Okay. Anyway, cool. Cool beans. It's a pencil. All right. Get a pencil if you like. All right. There's, um, there's more. Oh, wait. There's more. Oh, I got little baby turtles. So these are, <laughs> these don't look like the picture either. I thought these were going to be a little different, but they look like little tiny cabochon, turtle cabochons. 
they're cute, but not like the picture. They were 99 cents. Um, I took a little risk. I was on a turtle mode that day. So, I wouldn't order them again, but they're cute. They're okay. They're all right. Oh, let's see what else. Okay, I got a big old magnifying glass. Remember I had that, got the little tiny one, but I can't ever find it on my desk because it's so small. So I got a bigger one, and I think this is going to be really helpful when I can't see things, you know. Like on my envelope cutter, it tells you the sizes of everything, and it's printing is so small, I can't read it. So I'm going to keep this nearby where I can see it. This one is storage for my die cuts. You guys, I need to start putting some of these die cuts away. I've gotten so many, and they can't stay in their little pouches like this because I have a hard time with these. I always tear them. They're horrible. And the ones with the tiny pieces, I'm just afraid I'm going to lose them. So I like to keep them in stronger envelopes. So I thought these were pretty cool. I wanted to try them out. I think I got a couple packs of different sizes. These are, these are five and a half by seven. Five and a half by seven and a, well, the, let's look at the storage part. The storage is about five and a half, about five by seven. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of them. So, and I know they were only just a, a few bucks, so they weren't very expensive. They seem pretty solid. They've got the little closure there so you can close them up. So that's pretty nice. That'll keep all of our pieces in. And it's got little labels on them if you wanted to label them. So that's kind of cool. It's a, a nice buy. I'm happy with that. Oh, I got these. Okay, so it was cheaper to buy two of these than one. Crazy. Um, I already have one, and I love it. It's super sharp. I keep these by my by my sewing machine. Probably keep a pair here too because they're so easy to snip with. Um, look at these. These are awesome. Look, they're so easy. You don't have to put your hands all the way in there. It's just like for threads and stuff. This is so much easier than a scissors even. So I actually got a couple more pairs. I really, really love these. They're very sharp and I highly recommend it. So yes, those are a definite yes. I, those are a repeat purchase. Then I got some whiteout, not our correction tape, not whiteout, but correction tape. Whiteout is a brand, isn't it? This correction tape, I actually need some for work. And that was my thought. Get some and take some to work. So it's got the little cap on it, and let's see how well it does. I don't want to use that piece of paper. What am I doing? Here, let's use this label. Nothing I really want to care about. Oh, did I do it the wrong way? Because I'm always doing it the wrong way. Which way does it go? Does it go this way? Nope, it goes this way. Oh, boy. Um, I see it rolling but I see nothing coming off. Oh, maybe I gotta tip it up. Maybe it's me doing it wrong. Just gotta tip it up more, I guess. There we go. That works pretty well. I mean, as well as correction tape does. That's okay. I, I'll, I'll stand behind that. And it, I like the colors and little pouch that it comes in too. Kinda cute, great way to keep it together. I don't use correction tape a lot, but sometimes at work I'm looking for some, so. I think I'll grab one or two rolls and take it. Then we've got double-sided sticky tape. And this is almost a half inch wide. This was inexpensive too. I'm going to definitely buy more if I like it. It was a really great price as well. It seems like it peels up very well. Pretty sticky. So we'll definitely... Uh, I'm going to actually write Timu on the inside of this so that when I'm using it, we can talk about it. 
So I'll know that's the one. Okay, I'll, that way we'll have that information. So we'll see how that goes. I got some beads. Now they're supposed to be a lot in here. Like a hundred and something. Or maybe, yeah, they're supposed to be a hundred pieces. I don't know if that's a hundred pieces. That doesn't look like a hundred pieces. Not that it bothers me, because what am I going to do with 100 pieces? Well, it could be, actually. But look at these gorgeous colors. Little square beads. They're beautiful. These would even be pretty in shakers, you guys. These colors are really rich. They're gorgeous. I am happy with them. There's probably There probably is 100 in there. But there's like a dark teal. There's a turquoise, red, green. This one's kind of a brown. There's a purple, a be brilliant blue, orange, clear, different shades of green. These are beautiful. I'll probably order more of these too. I don't have anything like these in my bead stash and with Christmas coming up I think these would be a really good addition to that stash. I can make some pretty things with them, that's for sure. Especially if I add them to my um, shakers. They'd be pretty. They remind me of the brilliant colors of Christmas lights. I'm starting to think about Christmas, it's true. I need to start thinking about Christmas. I never I never start soon enough. I'm always late to the ball. Alright, let me stick these in that little cup so they don't spill everywhere. What's next? I've got two or uh, three more dies here. This one, oh I love it. Oh it's not, it didn't, oh I thought it had the castle with it. Well, that's a little bit to this point. Maybe that was a different one. It might be in there, too. This is a princess and her and her coach. There's her little coach. And there's a little princess. Look at her with her little fairy wand. She's super cute. I thought, I've got a um, Sleeping Beauty swap coming up, and I thought this might be fun to incorporate in there. I know it's not the same, but you know what? Every little princess needs a, a fairy uh, stagecoach, so... I think it'll still work. I think it'll work even though it's a different story. She might have been in a... Anyway, here is a lady with her tray of food serving up. I thought this was great for any food theme. Very retro. I think she's cute. Don't you? I've got a lot of retro paper, um, kitchen themed, for, and my journal is, is very similar. So I thought this would be great in there. I don't know if this is a pizza or a tray of hors d'oeuvres doesn't matter. She's adorable. I love her. So there's that one. Then we got this one. These are that uh, magical magical mouse desserts. <laughs> Let's take this one out. I thought this would be fun. I actually took a picture of the ad just to remind me how, how to do it. But here is the ice cream that goes into the cup. There's the little Mickey Mouse head. This is a, um, I guess a donut. This can go on top of that. This would be like a dipped ice cream or something. Here's the, the, the stick. And you could put that under, under the ice cream. Or you could use this as a spoon handle here. Isn't that cute? I really like that. I really like that. It's going to be fun. Fun to use. I think it's going to be very, um, very happy. So I love it. All right, then, what's, oh, this is paper. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to buy a bunch of paper, and I'm not. However, this paper is Halloweenish paper, and I don't have a lot of that. So be proud, Michelle, my sister Michelle, because I bought some Halloweenish paper. Look how cute that is. I really like it. It's called Silent Castle 6x6 paper pad, 12 different designs. Uh, each two sheets of each. It's 160 uh, GSM heavyweight cardstock, acid and linen free. So let's look at these papers. Yeah, it's nice paper. I don't know about cardstock, but it's nice paper. Look at those skulls and the roses. And I'm always a sucker for this print or similar print. More roses. These are going to be beautiful together. Really fun. And in my next order, I actually have some black doilies, paper doilies, 
to go with these for Halloween, so stay tuned for that. That'll be awesome. These are cool, too. It's got the stripes, like a linen stripe, and then it's got splatters. And it's hard to see, but there's some um, words and text on here, like cursive handwriting. That's kind of neat. I don't see anything quite like that. Ooh. And there's spider webs through here. Kind of hard to see again, but there's black ones, and then there's white ones. There's writing in the back. That's really neat. Skellies. Could use that little dancing skeleton die and put them across here. That would be fun. Ooh, the different moons. That's neat. Candlesticks, chandeliers, lanterns. Awesome. There's different bone parts. There's hands. There's a heart, foot, skull, pelvis, arm. Super cool. These are going to be fun to play with. We've got some orange skulls. Ooh, apothecary page. That doesn't even have to be Halloween, does it? It's more of a kind of a just a vintage feel even. And then this gorgeous purple wallpaper stuff. So you guys, make sure you check the links below because this will be all linked down there. And I know some of you are going to be looking for this paper. It's really nice. This is nice. I would recommend it. Um, I might even order another one myself. So, because it's not really scary, but it's 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 pretty. It's actually really pretty and very vintagey. I can see um, a lot of you might want to use that. What is this one? I don't know. But it's wrapped up really cool. I'm gonna wait on that one. Ooh, what is that? I don't remember. I got these beads. These were. I was kind of searching through, looking for some interesting beads. Now, a lot of times these kind of beads will pop. Will this, these pop open? Do they pop open? The raspberry beads often do. Um, but I don't think these do. Maybe? They turn. Do they pop open? I like it when they do pop open because then you can um, use just parts of them, like half I don't know that they do, but they're super cute. I love them. Aren't they fun? They're big too. So there's one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in there. It might have been, is it nine? Multicolor ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten. Can't count. I think they might have been around two dollars or something. I don't know. But I thought they were fun. And let's see, I'm going to hold on to that wrapped up one to last because I don't know what it is. I'm very curious, but I don't know what it is. And then, let's see, this is, I think this was like an underwear organizer or something like that. So I got this because I had an idea. I don't need it for my chonies, but wouldn't it be fun... Or a great idea, maybe, maybe, to put, like, our ephemera in here. Like, like we could store, this, these are too wide. Let's see, what could we put in there? Like, tickets, or our tags, or, I don't know, maybe, maybe we're making things, projects. You know, maybe we need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There's 11 spaces in there. And this is about 4 inches by 4 inches by 4 and a half tall, maybe? And I thought this might be just a lot of fun to or a great way to organize some of the things that we make. I can't unfold it. Unfortunately, the netting is, is quite folded. But I thought this might be a good way to do it. So, like an organizer for in our craft room. Don't you think so? Maybe for stamps or something like that. Look, maybe we could organize our stamps in there. Wouldn't that be something? There, it's, you know, some of them will fit. Look at that. Great way to do it. So, well, those might be too wide, but anyway... I thought it might be fun for organizing. That was that's the idea. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but these pockets, yeah, they're not so down at the bottom. So if you put beads in here, that would be a mess. 
don't want to do that. But I think there's something we can do with this. If anybody has any ideas for your craft room, tell me what your thoughts are for this. What could I put in there? Because I think it's good. Ooh, like my ephemera packs. I'm looking over there and I'm seeing a bucket. Like uh, my Echo Park ephemera packs. Like maybe seasonally I can change this out and like Christmas and put the different packs in here or stickers or something like that. Maybe the ones that I'm using currently. I don't know. There is a good reason. There's a good, good, good purpose for this. We're going to figure it out. Okay. Ooh, maybe fabric scraps. That would be awesome. Folded up fabric scraps that are kind of small. Great way to organize them. Maybe by color. There's an idea. All right. I'm going to keep coming up with them. Threads, yarns. I don't have that much. Ribbon, maybe cuts of ribbon. I got another bag and all they put it in it was this one, which I love. Look at this, just a girl who loves turtles. That's me. What a cool bag this is. This is so big too. This one is, and it was so cheap. It um, nine inches by eight inches. So it's quite large and on the other side it says the same thing just a girl who loves turtles so that's going to be a very sizable bag that's going to be great for traveling for supplies or whatever sewing project maybe fussy cutting project i could put in here fussy cut in the living room bring it in here and then empty it out into here <laughs> i don't know we're going to think of something i'm trying to be more organized you guys so that's why i've got some of those things but Oh, this is the markers. Oh, this is the markers. Oh, I'm glad I saved this for last. I want to try this. So these are the touch markers. There are 30 of them in here. And I don't know a lot about them, but I wanted to try the small set. I say small. There's 30. There's 30 markers. And I wanted to see how they are. So it says twin marker. So it's got a broad tip pretty broad tip and it's got a fine tip so we're gonna try them out let's see let's see how they do I bet you guys have seen these if you look up um, alcohol markers or something like that in the search bar these will be in that search so let's play with them for a second and see what we've got um, here I don't need to be get out too much paper Get a dark color so you can see it. So this is the blue. This is the Napoleon blue number 72. And it writes like a charm. There's that fine tip. Here's that broad tip. Nice. So you could do all kinds of things. I wonder if they do silk through. So that's a pretty, pretty strong marker there. I wonder how they, if they blend at all. I wasn't really expecting alcohol markers, but um, I was just kind of curious how they play, you know? So they don't really blend. They're pretty. They're really pretty. I think these are going to be great for um, card making and stuff. When I use stamps and things. That does it soak through? Yeah, it does soak through. That's tr pretty strong. But that's all right. Actually, they do kind of blend, don't they? That went over that pink and that blue, that purple, and it made a different color. So they kind of do overlap. Made them kind of different purplies. Let's see what happens if I do. Give me another piece of paper. I'm just going to use this paper. I don't care. Um, yellow. And what if I put some green over it? It's thundery outside, you guys. It's pretty dark, but I can still see some yellow underneath it, but it totally took over that one. So let's see if we put a different yellow. When I say different yellow, I mean green. So they're really pretty colors.
They're nice. I like them. They work really well. I definitely recommend them. I think these were maybe $11. It's not bad. Oh, that's going to be the same color. I keep thinking I'm going to get a different color if I use the other end. Yeah, they seem like they'd be reliable. I definitely recommend them. I'll be using these till I can't anymore. These are awesome. I might even splurge and get the bigger set. These are good for now. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's my last, uh, my last item in this haul. I'm going to have another one, but you guys, make sure that... Um, like I said, like, subscribe, hit all the notification buttons, all the good things. If you like any of these items, I'm putting my my uh, code and everything in the link for 30% extra, 30% off of your first order. And you can find all the links for all these amazing products. I'm really happy with what, what I got this time and super excited to start using some of these things. I'm getting more of this paper too. So don't sell out on this one. I want to get some more. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Thanks for spending time with me today. Go shop and have some fun. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye for now.